What's up everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I've got a lot of really cool web dev content coming up and uh, it would be a shame for you to miss out. And always, if you don't like it, it's very easy to unsubscribe. And I really appreciate it as I'm really close, whoops, I'm really close to 50,000 subscribers. Now on the other hand, I don't know if you guys remember, but previously I did a video which uh, showcased how to do scroll snapping, where you snap to a specific part of the page. Now in today's video, I'm going to do a, a kind of a scrolling uh, tutorial, but this is going to be with one line of CSS and it basically allows you to scroll smoothly between different anchor tags. So let's jump into the code and let me teach you some really cool stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I've created a little kind of showcase with a top navigation and a scrollable div to show you how simple anchor tags work. I can click between the pages in this case, and we snap to that part of the anchor tag. I can also scroll through this, but that's not the case. I kind of want to snap to those particular parts of the page for a better user experience of the person using our website. But now I want to make this smooth. I don't want it to just be very harsh and snap. So as you can see here, I've got a very basic uh, HTML and all I have is I made some navigation, which links to the IDs of those specific uh, pages. And then I have a div, which is scrollable. I called it scrollable because that's the scrollable area of that page that I want to run through. Here I have my other divs that define a specific page. And in that page, I have some content, which is just the title tag uh, and a GIF. If I go into my index.css of that specific page and I find my scrollable container, all I need to add is scroll behavior and set that to smooth and voila, that is literally everything to get this to smooth nicely. So now if I click through the navigation, it smooths through and makes it look super nice and fancy. Just one line of CSS and you can get results like this that weren't possible a few years back where you had to do all of this with JavaScript. CSS is becoming super powerful and I'm super excited to see what comes in the future. Now that is it for this video. I hope you implement this into your website and I hope it uh, you know works nicely for you and it's something that you've been looking for if you did enjoy this video please smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one bye common conundrum of man good people question if there is one well bad is soon good disregard the tally victims think it's pretty hard living knowing father was the latter